Look at these two sweet babies. That one, I'm, I'm sure, is a rooster. This one, I don't know, you guys. Don't they look sweet together? I hate to break them up. Aww. They're just having a little rest. Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting out in front of my baby cheeks, having my coffee, finishing it up with all of you. And, yep, it's back to the Red Riding Hood hoodie because it is kind of chilly outside. It feels so good. It's like 42, 47 degrees. The baby chicks did fine overnight. And I don't know if you noticed, but coming out of the van coop, well, there's a whole lot more chickens coming out. And that's because I put the ones from the secondary coop in the main yard. I put them all in the van coop last night, so they roosted with the main flock, which is good because eventually I'm going to have to get these little babies out in front of me into that coop um, and then indoctrinate them to other bigger chickens slowly and separate them into, you know, leghorn, main flock, or rooster coop, whichever they fit into. Look at, there's Papa. He's so a good boy. Anyhow, my dad is still in the hospital, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried about it. So I'm going to try and stay productive today and get some things done. I got the roof frame on, and I've got it all nicely covered up in chicken wire. This is an exciting moment for me, and I have just connected this with some of the wire that came with the chicken wire. There's a ton of it. You got It took me 30 minutes to unwrap it all. But I got this done, so now it's time for the tarp. I got the tarp on. It, um, I actually wish I had turned it the long ways because if you look over here, <laughs> I didn't wrap the ends very good. So I just kind of like folded them over and kind of like secured them with some wire. Same thing over here. I did line the sides, you know, the, the side pieces with some more of that stuff, the plastic bags, just because I didn't want the stress of the tarp to go over the corners because there's like sharp things. So I put one on both ends and uh, I'll tell you what, it's insulated very well. It's very warm in there. But um, yeah, so this tarp is not heavy duty. I don't know how long it's going to last. I think next time I will, it's a uh, 10 by 12. I will put the, the 12 feet over this way. That way I can completely enclose the ends in tarp. And, um, but it's totally closed and it's totally covered. Doesn't look 100%, but it's okay. It's okay for now. There's just a couple more security features that I need to do. Here, let me show you. I didn't do this part exactly right, but there is chicken wire that goes across this open part. But here, let me co close this door and show you something. This right here, it's, I mean, something could technically climb up and uh, get in there. I don't know if they will, but I've got a little piece of, where is that? Hardware cloth right here, a little remnant um, that I think I can just put attached to the door so it'll move with the door and just put it up here and maybe that'll make it a little safer and this is what it looks like on the inside just what you would expect there's some roosting bars i don't have any bedding on the floor because i don't have any bedding um but yeah this is the inside and this is it from the back i've just stapled in a couple places could i because i couldn't reach all the way over there um, I don't think I'm going to worry too much about it. The tarp is pretty secure and I will be getting another tarp eventually, a heavy duty one. And I'm going to expend my energy getting that stapled down really good. But it comes up, over, uh, I mean it comes out over the side so the rain won't get inside. Everywhere that the tarp is, it will direct the rain outside. So, you know what? This is basically ready to receive roosters. Yeah, I had to get boyfriend Mr. Bendy out, <laughs> otherwise I couldn't get it done. It looks okay. Um, you know, it it looks all right. It, it looks all right to me. Um, it'll be better if it has a better tarp and um, if I could get the ends <laughs> done correctly. So as soon as I can get the, some bedding, it'll have to wait because I have like $5 on my account. Oh my gosh. It's okay. I have everything I need. 
Um, I might collect some leaves. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's okay. It's all right. I mean, it's okay if you view it from this down. But that has to be part of it too. And I didn't know if you guys noticed yesterday, but I've started putting up the chicken yard with these here walls. And I've been putting up posts in between. Um, I'm not putting posts at every single pallet. Um, in between here, I'll be joining them together in some way. In fact, I think I already... No, I didn't. Um, it's just being held together with rope right now. Either brackets or something or other, I'll join them together and then intersperse posts just for a little extra strength. I haven't put these up yet, and I still haven't got the rest of the pallets, but um, I may end up just doing that tomorrow because I am tired. Look at that. Rooster coop. You know what I was thinking I'd like to do someday on either that coop or maybe a future one is actually build a wood roof out of pallet wood that slopes down um, so I don't even have to use a tarp. That would be kind of cool. Um, I think it would look better. But for right now, this is perfectly fine. It's going to keep them out of the elements. It's going to keep them very warm. In fact, I kind of maybe regret uh, blocking all the holes because um, I'm thinking there might need to be a little bit more ventilation in there. So I'll just kind of see how things go with all that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's basically done. It's ready for roosters. I don't have to put roosters in it just quite yet because there's been no problems uh but i think there's gonna be problems eventually so um i just need to grow these little baby chicks up a little bit more and um eventually i think the first roosters i'm gonna put in are in the main flock the two easter egg roosters so uh yeah that's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting tonight to see if all those baby chicks well not baby chicks teenagers all the teenage chicks get up in the coop the band coop because uh, they're used to roosting in their own coop and i just don't know if i have the energy to chase them around but uh, i'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed i'm gonna keep the doors closed to uh their coop so well i gotta go and clean out water bowls and these baby chicks drink so much water. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's empty. It's empty again. And um, I'll take Papa for a walk and make something delicious for dinner. So, well, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.